Single lady, please review yourself. Please come here. Why are they whistling? Mm-hmm. What's that about? Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Fumi. On Instagram? On Instagram, you can check me out all as MC Fumzi. How old are you? I'm 30. She's 30. 30. What do you do? I am a laboratory scientist in a hospital. Wow. That's beautiful. All right, so um, I'm sure they have some questions for you. Let's get them. Let's just go straight to the activity of today. And- May God not allow them to okay. kill you. What happened? All right, I'll ask questions. No, hold on. <laughs> Let's make it the ones clowns. that pop. I'm not asking you why you pop. Let's go straight. We have the ones that have not popped. More than you people. So straight up, please come. Let me make a choice. Please go sir. Oh, you're impressed for me. My name, sir. What's your name, sir? Okay, my Just name. Just your name. Mm. Stan. <laughs> Mr. Stan. Why are you holding this balloon for Fumi? Well, Fumi is beautiful. I still want to know. Can I see her. you touch your glasses? Because it's like how your eyes. <laughs> Can I see you? Can you do like this? Mm-hmm. Impressive. I want to know Fumi some more. Oh, no, no. Ask her a question. So, Fumi, where are you from? I'm from Kogi State, mm-hmm. Kaba. What, uh, what are the qualities you are looking up for? Um, someone that is caring, attentive, loving, someone that would look out for me and always listen when I have, I want him to listen. Yeah. How many relationships have you been in to? Um, three counting my ex fiance yeah so why did you leave the last person hmm. we weren't a match let me just put it there that why way. did you agree at first why did i agree um he presented himself well i have a thing for approach so he presented himself well and um, he carried himself well but getting into the relationship and going into it uh it didn't look like something I would want to do for a lifetime, so I had to let go. Would you like to share the major thing that made you take that decision? We weren't a match. What's the general type? Uh, I'm AA. He's AS, but, but we weren't a match emotionally. That's what I mean. Yeah. Still holding up. Okay, thank you, sir. The next man, please. I don't have anything to say. You don't have anything to say to him. So um, I just want to ask, what kind of man are you there for? Can I hear your name? My name is Kinsley. Okay. Um, like I said, loving, caring, attentive. Um, I like being treated special. <laughs> yes, because I mean, I would treat my man very, very special. He would know that he's my man and hmm. nobody else's. Hmm. But, so I would want the same energy, I mean, wow. basically. Okay, you, wow. you made mention something special. He would know that he's my man. And hmm. nobody else's. Hmm. But so I would want the same energy. I mean, wow. basically. Okay, you wow. you made mentions about um you not being compatible with your last partner. Yeah. So I I I want to know what exactly it's. Um. How will I put this? He I don't let's want to seem like I work, I earn, but I do not want to be the provider. In my relationship. Mm. You want a man to be the man. Yes, be a man. I can provide. I will provide. But I want you to do it without having to having to need me to prompt you mm. most of the time. How, and I'm not one to prompt. Having to need you, like you prompting him. Yes, and I do don't this. do that. So I end up being hurt a lot because there are things oh. I would need him to want to do. He should ginger don't. himself now. Not only have ginger in him. Exactly. Oh. But I want you to do it without having to having to need me to prompt you mm. most of the time how, and i'm not one to prompt having to need you like you prompting him yes and i do don't this. do that so i end up being hurt a lot because there are things oh. i would need him to want to do he should ginger don't. himself now not only had ginger in him exactly oh, oh okay that, that is to say you've been doing it yes. yes okay and he's not responding positively exactly. to what yeah. okay 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 all right that's fine for now yeah. sorry
Did you know that? Let's have it. Let's have perfect. it. Let's have it. Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? <laughs> All right, let's go back. Please for me, come. Okay. Hi. Hi. I'm BJ. Okay. BJ for. Balaji. No job. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's why you asked me the name of BJ, right? Because uh, it goes fast, fast. But really? <laughs> what? So you like that stuff? I, sometimes. Ah. Oh, sometimes. <laughs> yes. Like the ice cream on top. I like the cup very well. Oh, wow. 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 I like bad girls mm. like you. <laughs> Ah, thank you. <laughs> Don't mind it. Mm-hmm. Face me. Okay. I like bad guys. Uh, okay. All right. So, all right. Let's 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 leave it at that. Let's let's have it. What am I thinking thus far? Oh, these people. Seventy years old man. All right. So now, how are she? I mean, she's presented very well as well. Um. Uh, you can see, let me see. I think most of them still have their balloons. But somebody popped the balloon. This guy in blue shirt, I've noticed him. I think it's a, it's a, it's a Holy Spirit cocoa kind of person. He's looking for a certain type of lady, you know. So he's there. All that BJ stuff, he's probably not interested in all that stuff. So there's some of those men that are there like that. But um, what I think thus far, hold on one second. Let me just make sure that I set this. Okay, there you go um how many relationships she said three i think she said she didn't count her ex-fiance um just ladies just say two or three <laughs> they want what they want is for you to lie to them at this point i've been telling them so they should know that you're going to lie anyway i don't care if it's 30 if the, what they're asking is the body count just say three okay um gentlemen once she says three just know that she lied okay if she said not including my ex fiance that's the closest to truth you're ever going to get okay are you saying women lie no i'm saying all of them are liars okay all right so now she kept saying we weren't a match we weren't a match and the men tend to be more confused the reality is that that confused state is uh, perpetual you will stay in that confused state for a long long time we weren't a match um what's the point of the question what is the purpose of the question i guess you want to get to know them a little bit right um but you're not more concerned about what they like right now except this last guy oh you like that kind of stuff i like bad girls like you i actually like that i don't know what he did with the rest of the interview but at that point when he said bitches hey you like that kind of stuff i like bad girls she's like ah i like i like whatever she said right a little, a little, they got a little playful, banterful. That's perfect. Okay. That is better than everything else that everybody is preaching to themselves in this internet street when it comes to dating. As long as the other person is, of course, engaging it and they don't just give unnecessary jokes that the other person does not appreciate. If they don't appreciate it, leave it alone. There are people that will appreciate it. There are people that will pop their balloons that you don't really need to engage because they will eventually pop their balloon anyway so that's that but that we weren't a match thing a- again she's she's telling you as vague as we're not compatible that's what that is compatibility is a very vague thing it's part of the ways that people will lie um not intentionally <laughs> okay because again there's so much that goes into a relationship there's so much that goes into interaction between two people that is you know you're going to know a new person and then they're trying to you so they can tell you the specifics there's too many specifics all right and if anything if you give any specifics it'll be used against you okay so so if you ever heard him people like well that's something i told you when i was feeling so vulnerable with you and you used it against me that's why that's why you're getting that anyway he will know that he is my man she said he will know that he's my man that's the closest thing to truth in the interview between the young ladies because uh, between the young lady and the and the gentleman right he will know he would like you will know gentlemen you need to be okay with trusting you have to trust from a very emotionally intelligent <sighs> intentional place 
you're not going to the answers you're looking for you're not going to find it in this moment open what do you like what do you like to do where do you like to go to eat what do you, this kind of like okay so tell me about college tell me about university tell me about the last 10 years of your life would you are you looking forward to the next five years what about the next four what are you looking forward to in the next five years of your life these questions you see these questions around and you get you get bored because you're looking to protect yourself from the dating scene you cannot protect yourself from the dating scene the best way to protect yourself is to continue to work on yourself don't be a moving target for for narcissists because they will, you will continue to fall in the hands of narcissists if you're a target this this close-ended questions is not going to save you this is the marketplace these are the cards you're dealt you need to learn how to deal with it anyway so when she said he will know that he is my man that's going to be the reality you're just going to know it's vibes you're going to know you're going to feel it both of you are going to feel it's going to be a synergy and it's going to last for as long as it's going to last but let me guess you want it to last a lifetime so you want to make sure in this moment this moment go 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 right now hey, how's that working out for you your your guess is as good as mine i don't want to prompt you to do the right thing she said i don't want to prompt you to do the right thing you gotta be careful with that ladies okay the reality is that you especially with this kind of men that are built nowadays you need to speak up okay you need to speak up you need to say what you feel you need to be able to say i feel like without being judgmental without coming off as an attack if you are expecting him to read your mind, there's a good chance it will fail. Okay. Now, gentlemen, are you expected to read minds? Yes, of course. You have to learn how to read a goddamn mind. Yes, you heard it here first. Everybody else will tell you like, no, no, no. you have to learn how to ask. Try your best. It's called emotional intelligence. You see, when you have emotional intelligence, people will start to say, how did you know? How did you know? Oh, it's, because, it's because you have emotional intelligence. You are patient enough until they tell you. <laughs> right they will tell you if you wait long enough they will tell on themselves but if you're not patient you're like how do you so you expect me to read minds you're not responsible because you don't know how to respond to crisis and conflict anyway those are some things i could pick up from that let me know in the chat let me know what your thoughts are about this uh what are the red flags you picked up from that for you personally or that you can't deal with let me know hit the like button share subscribe turn up your notifications so you're notified when we go live how are we doing okay let's tackle one more shall we let's have it let's have it let's have it i'll be right back hey prestige fam show some love to the video hit like subscribe and share are you in europe america and struggling your relationship from argument to abuse and trust issues we're here to help lola and i founded uh, prestige marriage academy to transform your story with 20 years of friendship, 17 years of marriage, experience with navigating the ups and downs of marriage, and personalized coaching includes 24-7 support. Ignorance is expensive. WhatsApp us at plus one seven three two three zero five eight five seven seven to book a free discovery session today and take charge now. Don't wing it. Join us in creating the love life you, you deserve. deserve.